Notice the headline here from Business Insider. It says, NASA reports a fridge size asteroid is headed towards Earth one day before the November election. So now they're saying that an asteroid is headed and expected to hit Earth on November the 2nd, a day before the election. Let's look at another headline confirming this from pinlive.com. It says, NASA says an asteroid is headed our way and will get here the day before the presidential election in November. So we see based upon these two articles that they are expecting an asteroid to hit Earth. Well, what is an asteroid? It is a large rock coming from out of space. And when we understand Bible prophecy, we see this both in the book of Daniel and in the book of Revelation showing us that Bible prophecy is fulfilling. Let us pray. Loving Father, please give us of thy Holy Spirit that as we open up your word, that we would understand spiritual things and trust your word, that we can truly trust Jesus. Give us the faith that we need to make it in these last days. In Christ's name we pray. Amen. Daniel chapter 2 and verse 34 and 35 brings to view a stone smoting the image. Now remember, the image represented the earthly kingdoms, which means that a stone would smote the earth in the last days. This is basically what Daniel 2 verse 34 and 35 is bringing to view. But that's just one witness. Let's go to a second witness in the book of Revelation chapter 8. Notice what it says in verse 10 and 11. The Bible says, And the third angel sounded, and there fell a great star from heaven, burning as it were a lamp. And it fell upon the third part of the rivers, and upon the fountains of waters. And the name of the star is called Wormwood. And the third part of the waters became wormwood, and many men died of the waters because they were made bitter. When you look at the space on earth, there is much more water on the earth than there is land. Therefore, it is highly likely that if an asteroid were to hit the earth, that it would hit water as opposed to hitting land. And this could very well cause a major tsunami that could be catastrophic and destroy many lives. And this is within the trumpets. And for those of you that have seen our two previous videos concerning the trumpets, one of them discussing the end time natural disasters that are revealed in Revelation 8 concerning the trumpets and our wormwood in Bible prophecy, many will die video, these two videos reveal the fact that the trumpets reveal the last day natural disasters. And in this passage, we just saw that this rock is as a burning lamp. And where did it land? In the waters, in the ocean. And this is exactly what Pastor Dana dreamed recently. But before we go to Pastor Dana's dream, I want you to hear a dream of a good friend of mine down in Florida, Brother Alex, had this dream. And his dream, the rock is described just as you see here in Revelation chapter 8 and verse 10 as a burning lamp. Listen as Alex shares his dream. Hi, I just wanted to share with you a dream I had only about four days after I posted the video regarding the tsunami hitting the East Coast. I mentioned Revelation 8.8, 8. and in this dream that I had on May 2nd, I dreamt that I saw an asteroid in space. I remember seeing it as a big rock covered with fire. The fire looked like flares that you see in a close-up of the sun. The dream just focused on me looking at this asteroid going down through space, meaning it wasn't going on an upward direction, it was going on a downward direction. So as you just heard there in Brother Alex's dream that he saw that this rock was on fire, it was on a downward projection. In other words, it was heading towards Earth. Now, he didn't see the Earth 
in his dream. But this is what the Lord revealed. And I see very clearly based upon the scriptures that this dream is in line with Revelation 8 and verse 10, where this star fell from heaven, burning as it were a lamp, letting us know that we are living in a time where God is letting us know that our lamps must be trimmed and burning and they should be lit with the Holy Spirit that we may correctly interpret the word of God as Josiah Litch and William Miller during the midnight cry that we may see the increased light in this time of the loud cry. Now, as we continue, let's listen in to Pastor Dana Coverstone's dream where he saw a rock come down and hit a pond and it caused catastrophic waves. So I dreamt I was in the month of October. I saw the month of October as a calendar and was waving like, like it was being blown by, a, by a, a strong wind, not a fitful wind, not violent, just kind of a fitful wind, you know. And I saw a finger appear and it pointed to the second week of October and it dragged the finger through the third week of the month. So it covered second and third week of October. And then it pointed October 31st and it held the position. It just kind of tapped it and held it. The first thing I saw was a rock. It came flying out of the sky and it landed in a large pond. And the ripples started off small, but then they became like vicious waves. Um, like, like when the wind begins to blow stronger and the ripples start to go further out. Now, am I saying that this asteroid is going to hit in October or November? No, I am not saying that. I'm simply sharing with you what NASA stated and what Pastor Dana dreamed concerning this asteroid that is approaching Earth. I do believe it will transpire in the near future, even if it were not to happen in October or November. So there you just heard from Pastor Coverstone's own lips regarding what he saw in this rock landing in a pond and causing vicious waves. We will very soon see the fulfillment of Bible prophecy where God has revealed this in Daniel 2 and Revelation 8 concerning end time natural disasters that are to happen before the second coming of Jesus. Understand, brothers and sisters, this is to increase our faith that we will not doubt the validity of God's word, but we can know without a shadow of a doubt that we can trust the word of God because God has prophesied these things thousands of years beforehand in his word. And now he has confirmed them via dreams and visions in these last days. And the reason why God is doing this is because God needs us to have faith in these last days because there are turbulent times ahead of us and it will require a great faith to make it through the coming crises. Notice what the Bible says in John 13 and verse 19. It says, Now I tell you before it come that when it is come to pass, ye may believe that I Am he. God has given us prophecy and prophesied these things that we may believe that Christ is he. We may believe on Christ, believe on his word, that we can stand upon his word no matter the persecution, no matter the tribulation, no matter the hardship, but we can take up our cross and follow Jesus. Let us follow Jesus today as we see that Bible prophecy is fulfilling which means Jesus is coming soon. Let us prepare today. Please make sure you check out our two latest websites that are prophecies relating to two cities that will be affected in different ways. Tampa will be flooded and DC will be invaded by Russia and China. And so check out the two websites tampaprophecy.com and dcprophecy.com. I am not stating that those two prophecies necessarily have any relation to the asteroid prophecy. Please keep that in mind. But be blessed and share these websites with others that they may understand Bible prophecy is fulfilling 
and their need to prepare for the coming crises if they reside or live in the two respective cities. God bless. Jesus is God.